friends, it's Mrs. Pridmore. I'm so sorry that we're not able to get together this week. I know that that was a big surprise for me, just like it was for all of you, that instead of going to Finney and singing songs on the blacktop in the morning and getting together for music class this week, we're all in our houses. And that, that was a little weird, huh? So instead of being able to get together face to face, I wanted to put these on my YouTube channel. So I know it's not as much fun as getting together and hearing your ideas and seeing your smiles and hearing your voices together and playing the music class instruments together and dancing, but maybe you can sing along with me and you can sing along with my ukulele and we can do some activities and read some books and we can have some fun together, even though it's a little bit different. So that's what we're gonna do. Today, I wanted to tell you a little bit about how important it is to wash your hands. Did you know that we are covered in millions of germs all over our bodies and we can't even see them? They're totally invisible to us because they're so teeny tiny but it's really important that you wash your hands and you make all those germs slide off. You have to use soap in order to make that happen. And if you don't do it and you have germs all over your hands and you touch your face or your nose or your mouth, you can actually get sick. Now, I'll bet a lot of you guys have heard the grown-ups in your life telling you to wash your hands even more than usual lately. That's because a lot of people are getting sick. So we don't want anybody getting sick. We want everybody staying healthy. You have to wash your hands a lot before you eat, after you come inside from playing, anytime you touch another person. So we're going to show you why it's so important to wash your hands with soap. And in order to do that, I have Preston who said he would be my helper and I have a plate and on my plate, I have water, which is a little bit hard to see. So we're going to put some pepper in it. Now Preston, this is going to be the germs. Okay. Yeah. So the pepper is the germs. Now, can you dip a finger in that, the water and the pepper? Swirl it around, roll your finger around in it a little bit. Good, now hold it up. What happened? The pepper got on my finger. It's covered in germs. Can you believe that? Now, can you swirl a finger around in the soap? All right, oh, it's dripping. Now it's all covered in soap. This is just normal hand washing soap. Now you're gonna dip that in the bowl. <gasps> now magic. pull it up. I know it looks like magic, huh? Now, did you get any germs on that finger? Nah. No, can you pick it up and show the camera? Look at that. So the one with soap on it didn't get any germs on it, but the one that didn't have soap on it is covered in germs, right? Yeah. Here, let's wipe that off. Thanks so much for your help, buddy. Here, you can take that with you and step that way. Careful. Thanks, bud. So you can see why it's so important to wash your hands and use soap because it makes your hands really slippery and slidey. Now you want to get all of that soap all over your hands to make all the germs slide off. So you want to get on your palms and on the back of your hands and in between your fingers and rub your fingernails together on your palms and even get your wrists. Some people like to even get their thumbs to make sure that you get that soap everywhere so that all of those germs slide off. You can even have fun with it and practice your rhythm. So you could go whoop, I know it probably sounds a little bit silly with me doing it just by myself, but you know we would be having a lot of fun in music class if we were all echoing together. So make it a game. Make it a game with your brothers and sisters, your cousins or your family, whoever you're at home with right now. And then of course, I have a hand washing song, so can you sing with me? It goes like this. If you're germy and you know it, wash your hands. If you're germy and you know it, wash your hands. If you're germy and you know it, even if your hands don't show it. If you're germy and you know it, wash your hands. Because if you can't see the germs on your hands, it doesn't mean that they're not still there. So if you're germy and you know it, even if your hands don't show it. If you're germy and you know it, wash your hands. Let's try it. If you're germy and you know it, wash your hands. If you're germy and you know it, wash your hands. If you're germy and you know it, even if your hands don't show it. If you're germy and you know it, wash your hands. One more time. If you're germy and you know it, wash your hands. If you're germy and you know it, wash your hands. If you're germy and you know it, even if your hands don't show it. If you're germy and you know it, wash your hands. Stay safe, stay clean, stay healthy, and wash your hands. And I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Bye, you guys.